when you get the chance to, please read Deuteronomy chapter 28. Read the whole chapter. Because you are going to find out the blessings and the curses that you are going to receive when you obey or disobey God. So when you obey God, you are going to be blessed. When you disobey God, you are going to be cursed. So please, please, please read Deuteronomy chapter 28, please. You know, some people ask me what should I read. Usually, I tell them to start with the book of Matthew. You know, but what you should read as well is Deuteronomy chapter 28 because when you read it, you are going to find out that what you are going through is not a coincidence. Once you begin to notice this, you can really make extreme changes to your life. So let's go to verse, I should have highlighted it. I did. Verse 15, give me a second please. Okay. Before I speak about this, I have been receiving comments of people telling me that they believe that they are cursed and stuff like that. They may want to point the reason why they are cursed at other people and stuff like that. But this is what we have to understand. When you get to the point where you are following the rules and regulations of God, of the Bible, when people are asking you questions, when people are telling you about the bad things that are happening to them in life and stuff like that, you have to assume that they are in sin. Chances are they may not be in sin. But you have to assume that the people that you are ministering to are in sin. They are doing something wrong. Because to be quite honest with you, there are not too many people who have fully surrendered their life to God. For myself, it took me a very long time to get to where I am now very long time perhaps over 10 years I got to the point where I'm like hey I am done messing around I am done some people I believe they have love for God or they say that they that they have love for God but deeply inside they have not surrendered everything like there are some sins that they enjoy doing so they do those sins so when someone tells me that so many bad things are happening to them or they feel like they are cursed i quickly assume that they are in sin sometimes i discern what types of sins that they are in So let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Like I said, not too many people are really serving God. As an overall picture, like in this whole world, I am not going to say the percentage, but I don't know. But if you taken in the aspect of this whole world the percentage of people who are actually serving God doing right by him is very low compared to everyone else that are doing their own thing or they are just in sin because I mostly speak to people who are in sin and I am not 
pointing my finger at anyone. I am not shaming no one. It is what it is. Like I said, it took me a long time to get to where I am now. So I am not saying that I am better than you. I am not saying that, hey, you are going to hell and stuff like that. No. But anyways, some people have spoke to me or not spoke to me, but comment to me about they feel like they are cursed or why are so many bad things happening to me and stuff like that. We have to know that disobedience to God is going to curse you. Why do I serve God? I got tired of being cursed. I'm sorry. I got tired of being cursed because I started to figure out what I was doing wrong is connected to the bad things that are happening to me. So when I found that out, not quickly, but after a while, <laughs> I stopped being that way. Because even when I knew that the bad things that are happening to me or that was happening to me, I knew that it was because of how I was. Even then, I was still doing wrong, but I knew, like I was not confused. Like, hey, I am in this pain because I did this, or I cursed, or I watched porn and stuff like that. I knew that I was going to reap everything that I have sown. Then it got to the point where it got really bad, <laughs> really bad really bad but anyways let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 disobedience curses you but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God so if you don't follow the rules and regulations of God of the Bible to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, so same thing, following his rules and regulations. So if you choose to not follow his rules and regulations, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So let me close the Bible now. So what is this saying to you? Curses are going to come to you when you choose to disobey God. Let me go to verse one right quick. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if you begin to follow the rules and regulations of God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, so saying the same thing, if you choose to follow the rules and regulations of God, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. That is not the one that I want to read. Yes, let's go to one and two. So that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth, two, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou should hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So I meant to read verse two. So verse two is saying, when you choose to obey God, you are going to be blessed. Okay, let's go to, let's make it pink. <laughs> so this is saying in verse two, if you choose to obey God, you are going to be blessed. Verse 15, please. You are going to be cursed when you choose to disobey God. Verse 2. You are going to be blessed when you obey God. Okay, verse 15. You are going to be cursed when you choose to disobey God. Okay, verse 2. You are going to be blessed when you choose to obey God. Verse 15, you are going to be cursed when you choose to disobey God. 
I am really trying to make this really simple. There is no coincidence. None. Zero. What you do, what you say, and what you think plays a part to what happens to you in life. Nothing is a coincidence. Nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. What is verse 2 saying? Say it. You are going to be blessed when you choose to obey God. Okay, what is verse 15 saying? You are going to be cursed when you choose to disobey God. This is not hard. So why are you cursed? Chances are you are disobeying God. You know that you are doing wrong, right? Kevin, I am doing wrong. Why are bad things happening to me? I don't understand it. Yes, I am disobeying God, but hey, <laughs> so what? Why are bad things happening to me? Bad things are not supposed to happen to me when I choose to disobey God. Okay, then why is verse 15 saying this then? Huh? So really, like I said, please read chapter 28 of Deuteronomy. Please, 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 please. Because you are going to find out what is going to happen to you. No coincidences. God is the judge. God is the king. If you don't do what he says, he is going to punish you. Well, you know, I just tell lies every so often. You know, I just have sex, you know, every so often. You know, sex and lies are not really that bad, Kevin. Is it really worth me going through the troubles that I am going through now? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. No matter how small the sin is, sin is sin. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.